let's clear some things up. What's the difference between valid time and transaction time? Valid time is associated with business rules. Somebody could have worked from January 1st to June 30th in a company, and then they left. The business rules say they worked here from January 1st to June 30th. Transaction time is the exact time the database was updated. So, let's just say someone left, and on July 4th, they got around to the payroll, and they updated the database to say they don't work here no more. The valid time from a business common sense perspective said they left June 30th, but the transaction time said this wasn't updated till July 4th. And that's something that the user will be able to see or an auditor would be able to see exactly when they left from a business perspective and when the actual record of leaving actually was posted. Don't try to get ahead of me. I'm going to answer all your questions so more information is going to keep coming to you. Go, oh, I fully understand this. So just stay right along with your man here. Now, I'm going to run you through a scenario so you can see this in live action. On January 1st, in the property owner's table, Tara Tom is recorded as buying beachfront property. He's customer number one in your heart and customer number one in the database, and he just bought property 100. So let's take a look at the SQL. Insert into property owners. We're going to have customer number property number, the values one, Tara Thomas customer one, and he just bought property 100. That's going to be recorded in our buy temporal table. We'll see that in action next. We just inserted customer number one into our table and it's property 100 that customer number one owns. It was on January 1st, so let's take a look at our table. First of all, we can see customer number one. We can see the property number 100. Makes sense to us. Now we actually see the valid time. And remember, it's a period data type, so there's two of them. It says it was bought on January 1st and comma 9999-1231. That means Terry Tom is going to own this property forever. He still owns it. That row is open. Now look at the transaction time. I've just put the dates in here, but I want you to realize it would actually always be a timestamp, but I didn't have enough room for that. So as you can see here, it shows that Tom bought this on January 1st, and it's still open because it says 9999-1231, and that's how the row is going to look inside the table.